Cool peeps, welcome back to the channel. Yes, I'm Soax, and today we're going to start a rather, rather challenging let's play of Hearts of Iron 4. And to let you know, I've got the new DLC as well. Yes, finally got it. I know, I'm a champion. Um, today's let's play we're going to start is going to be new game. We're going to start 1936, select scenario. We're going to go for other country, select country. And we're going to ask the age-old question, uh, try and answer, not ask, answer the age-old question, you know, just like the meaning of life. Can Tibet conquer the world? Yeah, I'm betting no, but we're going to give it a damn good go. Hello, look, leader is Yanfu Yishi Galisten. Okay, so we are going to be Tibet. Yes, we are going to be Tibet, and we're going to see if we can conquer the world. I doubt it very much, but we're going to give it a damn good go. Yes, um, hmm, yeah, um, we've got a few problems of being Tibet, but we'll go through that once we get into the game. So we're going to have the AI focus on normal, and we're not going to have it on iron mode because I'm not crazy. Um, I would like to save as much as I can, just in case I make a Soax mistake, like I do all the time, and I might be able to go back and change that. I doubt it very much. Anyway, Tibet. What are the pros and cons? Um, we do not have any coastline, so we don't have a navy. So that's one thing we don't have to focus on. Two. Uh, we are quite sandwiched in between, basically, the Soviet Union... China, Japan, the British Raj. Uh, yeah, so basically we are surrounded by big, big, big people. So that's another thing we've got to figure out. We have hardly, hardly any manpower, 47,950, something like that. Uh, yeah, we don't have any manpower, so that's going to be another issue we're going to have to uh, sort out. Um, if we go into construction, I believe we have... Two factories, and one is in use for consumer goods, so we have no factories. Um, we have no military factories, I believe. How many have we got? Oh, I think we got three. Let's have a look. Let's go to production. We have one military factory, so that is going to be a problem. So, <sighs> we are going to have trouble building tanks or anything advanced. So, we need to focus on our infantry and probably cavalry <laughs> to start till we can get some manpower and some infrastructure in Tibet. Uh, I'm thinking our first goal is probably to take out Nepal and Bhutan. Hmm, I think, yeah, I think we'll be able to take out Nepal and Bhutan for no reason whatsoever other than cleaning up our borders because what has Nepal got? Um, not a lot. Not a lot at all. Uh, and Putan. Well, anyway, we're going to do it because we can. Um, if we go over to, where are we? It's National Focus. We don't have a, our own National Focus. We have the generic one. So, I think we'll start there. An industrial effort. Uh, armament effort. Get them extra research slots because we're going to need them. And then we're going to have to make a choice between fascism and communism. I'm not sure, sure which way we're going to go with that way, because if we stay, uh, move towards democratic, we can't do sod all, basically. Um, and we're going to be surrounded by communists or fascists. The only saving grace would be the British Raj. But, hmm, I'm not sure how we're going to play this. But we shall see. Um, so, what, another thing I've um, been thinking about is the research tree, which is... All we're going to be able to research, really, we're not going to be able to get motorised. We're not going to have the inf infrastructure for that at the moment. So we're going to have to focus on infantry and doctrine, basically. We're not going to be able to do tanks. Uh, we may be able to do some support a little bit, maybe. Uh, definitely no tanks. Definitely no. Maybe a little bit of artillery. We'll have to try to do that. Um, but it's the land doctrine. We're going to need manpower. And now there's two land doctrines that give us manpower. It's mass assault and mobile warfare doctrine. Uh, mobile warfare, there you go. The uh, desperate defence, you get 2% there and 3% there, which would be handy. And is it mass mobilisation? Where is it? 
Plus five. No. Four is mass mobile. Though. Which one is it? Organization. Infantry. Guerrilla warfare. Out supplies. I can't find it. Um, <laughs> yes, yes. Come on, Sykes. Where is it? They moved it. All right, hang on. Reinforcement. Minimal train level, yeah. This basically, mass assault really is for someone who's got a lot of manpower. Uh, I thought it was down here. Infantry recovery, right. Organisation. Infantry combat with... Ah, there you go. Recruitable population plus 5%. Human wave offensive. But the problem is, we ain't going to have a lot of, lot of men. But I'm thinking maybe down... The Mass Assault Doctrine, maybe. What do we get? Reinforcement right. Supply Grace. Nothing really. And the problem is with going down Mobile Warfare Doctrine is either Mobile Infantry or Tanks. We're going to have neither of them. So I would suggest Grand Battle Plan, but we need the men. We need the manpower. Anyway, that's enough of me waffling on about that. Um, we're going to have no type of resources as well. And we're not going to be able to trade with anybody because I don't think we're going to get a direct route to them. So that's going to cripple us. So, yeah. Not looking good, is it? But onwards and upwards. We'll give it a go, see how bad I fell, and we'll go from there. So without further ado, I think we'll run pause. We'll put it on slow for now, just so I can switch out. We'll go to a research slot. Uh, we're going to need, uh, we'll take support weapons one. And then we're going to go to inf uh, infantry, industry, and we'll do basic machine tools because we need to work on that. So that is that done. Civilian factories. Hmm, what are we going to build? Do we build another civilian factory with our one slot or do we build a military factory? Um, I would like to have another military factory, so we'll just do that for now. Might be bad, so let's go to the natural focus. Industrial effort, please. Thank you. Uh, Nova Division's in basic training. Well, I wonder why. Let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look. Combat whip. I... Eh, not very good, is it? What, we got any support? We can't even add no support because we've not got that. Well, we can't do anything with it because we've got no experience. So we're just trying... We're trying a couple of these. Um, we'll do two for now. Get our army up and we'll see if we can go to uh, war with Nepal. Um, can we actually do justify war goal? We need world tension at 50%. Well, we're not going to get that, but we're either going to go fascist or communist. So that's that done. Actually, I'm going to speed out the freight. Get it. Let's get going. Let's get going. All right, we have unassigned divisions. Okay, used to. Could you please create a new army? And I think we'll have, well, we'll just call it Army 1 for now. And we don't even have, uh, we can't even have a leader. Oh, there, we've recruited one. There you go. General Gudin Shakapata. Thank you. There you go. There's Army 1. And I have you on the border of Nepal. Oh, hello. We can't cross there because that's Mantis region. Ooh, but yeah, well, that's interesting to know. So, well, that's really quite good. And we have you getting ready to go to Kathmandu. But what we will do is get you training as well. Thank you. Get a little bit of experience and get them up to scratch. And we have insufficient resources. We are missing two still. Can't trade. You know, it's, uh, but not possible trade route can't be found. Okay. Who is close to us? Hmm. And do I want to be use it? No, I do not. Sod the steel. Because I do not want to be using the only civilian factory we got for that, thank you. So we're going to have to wait. How badly is that affecting our production? Uh, okay, we're doing well. At least we're building 6.18 guns a day. Um, we're going to have issues because we ain't going to have a lot of bullets to go in guns, I believe. So this should be an interesting how to not play the game. But we should get there. So... I suppose we'll go up to four speed because otherwise we're just going to have to uh, do nothing. Katmandu, we're coming for you. <laughs> yes, I'm a poet and I just don't know it. Um, 
Political power. Are we gaining political power? Oh, yes, we are. What have we got? Civilian economy. Uh, export focus. Right. A recruitable population, so a volunteer only. We can boost that. Uh, wartime in... Right, let's have a quick look for here. What are we going to go for? No. Daily democracy support? No. We'll go fascist demagogue. I think we're going to go fascist and we're going to join with Japan. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. Basically, we're going to go fascist, see if we can get on board with Japan, and we'll try it and take some of China. Because we need a bit of China. Um, it'd probably yeah, be a good idea, I think. Um, or if we went communist, we will be sitting out the war for a long goddamn time. Because let's have a look. King, King, communist. Uh, then nothing, but they'll be part of China soon. Mongolia, communist. Yeah, British Raj. Well, it, well, yeah, well, that's part of the Allies, so we definitely don't want to be taking them on at the moment. So if we went communist, we'd be sitting out doing sod all. Um, till Japan took China, really, and then we could attack Japan, because no doubt Soviet Union would go to war with um, Germany, and then Japan would go to war with the Soviet Union, and then la, 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 la you know what I mean? So I think we're just going to have to go fascist, and then we can try and get some of China. And hopefully once China capitulates, we can turn our attention to the British Raj. But what I think we do need to do, how can the British Raj get into Tibet? One, can't cross through the mountains. So we've got one entrance there, can't cross mountain. So I think we need to build some forts. Just round here. And round here. Uh, well, that's two provinces in it. Ugh. Yes, we need to build some forts. Oh, hang on, we're going to be taking Nepal. So that kind of uh, puts a plan to a uh, thingy. But no, I think we'll build some there. And if they take Nepal, albeit, uh, I think we'd, we'd just build some forts back here to fall back on. And they're never going to get in. And they can just bash their heads against their forts. Uh, industrial effort, fantastic. Let's have a look then. What did that give us? That gave us one times 50% region share bonus to industry. Now, do we go for civilian factories? Yeah, I think we will. Civilian factories first. The Napoleon Empire is on its way. So, uh, yeah. Um, I think this may take a long time. I think I'd rather build my forts. Hmm, um, yeah, this could take a while. I think I'll cancel that. It's not going to happen anytime soon, is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Can we just build some forts, please? See how long that takes. Where was the other one? I want it there, there, and there. Is that correct? Yes. See how long that takes. Ooh, the remilitarization of the Rhineland. Ooh, it's worrying times. Uh, yeah, that's just taking forever and all. This is going to be a painful let's play, people. So I think I'm going to put it up to five times. Five times! That's better. Look, we're building our forts. We're wasting all that precious materials building forts to stop the British Raj coming in. Yeah. Right, how is our training going? Yeah, doing well. Doing well. Uh, what are we missing? Infantry equipment. Funny that. We have none. Oh, we're catching up slowly. Oh, Italy took Ethiopia. Oh, no. The Italians have taken Ethiopia. I have the new DLC, people, so we can now be Austria. Maybe in another Let's Play, Czechoslovakia. Well, we could be them anyway, but we've actually got our own... Um, Oh, construction effort, our own national focus. That's what I wanted. Uh, okay, so what's that give us? That's giving us one building slot and one civilian factory. We'll take construction effort two. We'll try and get the research slots, then we'll turn fascist people. It's going to be a little bit slow to start off with because we need to at least build up a little bit of infrastructure. Basic machine tools, fantastic. Oh, and sport weapons one. Uh, we'll pause that again. So what do we want to go? Do we want to go dispersed? 
Oh, concentrated. What do we get? Factory output, 15. Dockyard, maximum factories in the state, 20%. Factory output, 10, 10. Production efficiency, retention, 10. Uh, yeah, we got it. It's obvious. 90 days, and back to here. We'll take the weapons one, please. Now, oh, hang on. I'll tell you what I will talk about. Uh, is it here? Rocket artillery. Is that what it requires? Technology for yeah, 3.6 years. Toad rocket artillery. I've been doing a little bit of research because I need to. I want to try and do the best I can. And apparently, to, rocket artillery is quite good. Um, whether we can produce it is a different story altogether because I don't think we're going to be able to produce artillery. But um, yeah, maybe that's something to think of for the future. So, carrying on. Um, yeah. It's going to be a toughie. But we will take Nepal. Hopefully. Ooh. Request land leads. Request uh, license to produce foreign equipment for your own use. No. Oh, hello. Modified government. Right. What can we get? Theorist. Military theorist. We get some experience gain, which would be quite handy, because I do want to add some. Right, okay. Uh, industrial concerns. Industrial research time. Meh. Artillery designer. Artillery research. Meh. Don't want any of that. Yeah. Uh, we can't change any of this, can we? No. Okay. What we got? We could take the fascist demagogue. I head towards fascism. Um, have we got anything? Anti-submarine specialist. Why have we got an anti-submarine specialist when we don't have any coastline or navy? Oh, that'd be quite handy. Hmm, well, infant, yeah, that'd be uh, that'd be the one, but we won't get that just yet, because we're not going to war just yet. Uh, I don't know what to take first. Well, we can ignore them. I think it's going to have to be... Fascist demagogue. The Tibetan people have a noble history, a history they've been made to forget under the weak and cowardly rule of... Re uh, retting, whatever that is. They claim to represent the people, but can so feebly a state enforce they will will of the people, will right? Yeah, 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 right. Young generals will take up the torch. The higher up may harbour on spike and sympathy. Increases the chance of internal support for a fascist coup. Right, uh, young people. We like the young people. <sighs> yes. Fascist we become. There we go. Uh, we've got... Yep, it's going up nice and slow. Ooh, and so... Ooh! Could you please join the ranks? Thank you. Our army is building. That's just Spain declared war on Spain. Isn't that just happening in real life? Spanish Civil War, part one. What will the, what will the Spanish people do? Well, we always... We know how this one ends, don't we, people? Yes. Goodbye, Republican Spain. Hello, nationalist Spain. Where are we? Oh, construction effort two. Fantastic. Right, infrastructure. No, we don't care about infrastructure yet, we, but we do need it. But we can get construction effort. Three. Uh, we'll go over this way first. Super doopy -de fantastic. Yeah, I mean, the start of this Let's Play is going to be a little bit slow. Well, not slow. It's on super fast, but it's going to be a little bit slow because we've got to build up. We can't do sod all till we're fascist or communist, but we're going fascist, don't we? Oh, the national spirit outranks the government. So how are we doing? Oh, the games of the Olympiad are finished. All we need now is someone to either circumnavigate the world or not. And that is construct uh, Constructed Industry 1. Fantastic. So, hmm. We well, can't do nothing to a 1937. Uh, construct, uh, construction speed would be nice. Now, hold up. Let's think about this. Let's have a quick look. Hmm. No. I'm going to get artillery. And then we'll focus on that. I just want the choice 
to have towed artillery if we can produce it. Don't know if we'll be able to, but it would be nice to have a little bit of support artillery, I'm thinking. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do it now, get it out of the way. Cause you never know. Righty ho Geronimo. So we're coming on. Anything new? No. How are we doing? Oh, up to eight point zero seven eight zero eight now. And oh, we have another fantastic army thingy to add to our army. Oh, we've got four divisions now. <sighs> Nepal, we're coming for you. We're coming for you. Anyway, people. Oh, on an effort. Let's go. Let's sort this out first. Pause, 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 pause. On an effort to. Thank you. Done. All right, anyway, people, that's where I'm going to end this episode because I don't want to make them too long. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it, because basically me talking a load of old pony, but I hope you've enjoyed it anyway. Smash the thumbs up if you have. Smash the thumbs down if you haven't. Please, leave a comment in the comment section down below with any tints, tips, or any way I can go that is a bit better than I am. And, um, yeah, maybe consider subscribing for more Hearts of Iron 4 content. And on that note, people, I will catch you in the next one.